After months of debate, rival parties at the National Assembly have finally approved the bill on the Korea-China Free Trade Agreement. On her trip to France for the UN Climate Change Summit, President Park Geun-hye visited the site of terror attacks in Paris and an exhibition of Korean handicrafts. And a joint South and North Korean excavation has uncovered an ancient metal type dating back to the Goryeo period at the Manwol Pavilion in Gaesong. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Tuesday, December 1st. I'm Luke Clary. After months of debate, the National Assembly has finally approved the bill on the Korea-China Free Trade Agreement. The ruling and opposition parties have also reached an agreement to protect the nation's farmers and fishermen who might suffer damages from the FTA. <laughs> The National Assembly has approved the bill on the Korea-China Free Trade Agreement. 196 of 265 lawmakers, or 74 percent, cast votes in favor of the deal. The bill was passed more than a year after the two nations agreed on the bilateral free trade pact, and about six months after it was officially signed. Prior to the ratification of the FTA, the ruling and opposition parties discussed with the government what measures should be taken to protect Korean farmers and fishermen who may suffer as a result of the deal. First off, a $862 billion fund will be set up on donations from the private and public sectors with approximately 86 million U.S. dollars to be donated annually over the next 10 years. The money will be used to improve health care services in rural areas, promote their cultural development and raise living standards. The ratio of compensation for the plummeting prices of agricultural produce due to the FTA will be raised from the current 90 to 95 percent next year. Subsidies for crop farmers are to be raised to around $517 per hectare by 2020. The government has also decided to include Jeju Island in the list of regions eligible for fishery subsidies. The presidential office welcomed the approval of the FTA bill and said it hopes that the remaining procedures will be carried out swiftly so that the FTA can take effect before the end of this year. With the approval of the South Korea-China Free Trade Agreement in Parliament Monday, the deal can soon go into effect. Proponents have said the trade deal will offer South Korean companies greater access to the Chinese market. This company produces self-treatment devices that help ease pain after surgery. Last year, it sold over 1.72 million U.S. dollars worth of products to China alone. But its tariffs amounted to 4 percent of that amount, nearly $69,000. Once the South Korea-China FTA takes effect, the company will be able to sell its products in China for lower prices, as year one tariffs will go down immediately and year two tariffs will be further reduced starting in January next year. Tariffs will immediately be lifted on some 950 items when the trade deal goes into effect. Second-year tariffs in particular will drop for more than 5,700 items starting in January next year. Tariffs on refrigerators and air conditioners will drop by three percentage points. Those on vacuum cleaners and washing machines with a wash load of 10 kilograms or below will likewise fall by two percentage points. It is expected that South Korean exporters of consumer goods such as fashion items, cosmetics and gourmet food will gain an advantage in the Chinese market, riding on the Hallyu Korean pop culture boom there. The government plans to complete all administrative procedures from presidential approval to proclamation within 20 days. President Park geun is in France to attend a UN summit on climate change. On her trip, she visited the site of the recent terror attacks in Paris to pay her respects to the victims. She also attended an exhibition of Korean handicrafts designed in fashion to stress the importance of cultural exchanges between Korea and France. 
President Park Geun-hye visited the Bataclan Theater in Paris to lay flowers for the victims of the recent terrorist attacks. Ninety people were killed by Islamic State extremists at the theater on November 13. Greeted by French Culture Minister Flor Pellerang, the South Korean president expressed her condolences and said that Korea always stands with France. President Park also attended an exhibition of Korean handicrafts, design and fashion entitled Korea Now. Organized to mark the 130th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Korea and France next year, the exhibition puts on display more than 1,500 pieces of art, including the Korean traditional dress hanbok that President Park wore for her inauguration ceremony. President Park expressed hopes that the exhibition will contribute to promoting bilateral cultural exchanges between the two nations and expanding their cultural horizons. A growing number of young Korean men hope to fulfill their mandatory military service as conscripted policemen. The police will recruit new officers through a lottery draw instead of interviews starting Tuesday. Here's more. An increasing number of potential draftees have shown a preference recently to fulfill their mandatory military service as conscripted police officers, to such an extent that they face a fierce competition rate of more than 20 to 1. The National Police Agency has decided to abolish interview exams in favor of an open lottery draw system when recruiting new conscripted policemen, starting December 1st. The lottery will be conducted for applicants who have passed the aptitude, physical and fitness tests and criminal record checks. The open lottery will take place at each regional police agency, starting with the Daejeon Metropolitan Police Agency on Tuesday and extending to the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency on December 17th. The police have explained that the revised recruitment method is due to the growing popularity of conscripted police service and overheated competition among draftees. Authorities expect that the open lottery system will ease the test burden on applicants and help allocate military service resources more efficiently. An ancient metal type presumed to date back to the Goryeo period has been discovered at the Royal Palace site of the Manwal Pavilion in the city of Gaesong, where South and North Korea have been excavating relics jointly. The two Koreas plan to closely analyze the artifact to find out its exact origin. This metal type was excavated at the site of the Goryeo dynasty's Manwal Pavilion in the city of Gaesong on November 14. The Inter-Korean Historians Association, which has been conducting the joint excavation project, believes that it originated from the Koryo era and was of a higher level than the metal types used in Buddhist temples to print scriptures. Historians believe that the discovered metal type was produced before the Manmore Pavilion disappeared in 1361, but they will have to analyze it closely to determine if it's the oldest metal type found so far. Historians from South and North Korea have found more than 14,000 relics at the Manwar Pavilion site over the past eight years, including some 3,500 relics this year as a result of the joint inter-Korean excavation project. Auctions have proven to be one of the most effective ways to retrieve Korean cultural assets from overseas. Two rare cultural assets, including a Joseon-era white porcelain jar, will soon return home as they were auctioned off to a South Korean buyer in Hong Kong. An art auction is packed with buyers. Competition between bidders is fierce from the start. Thank you very much. The highlight of the auction finally arrives amid the heated atmosphere. It is one of some 20 Joseon-era white porcelain moon-shaped jars left across the world. 
The price shoots up in an instant. After stiff competition, the winning bid is accepted. Thank you very much to my absentee bidder for $12 million. The buyer was a South Korean whose winning bid was over 1.8 million U.S. dollars. A Korea-era lacquered mother-of-pearl relic, one of just 20 such pieces in the world, will also return to Korea, as the South Korean bidder won it for $423,000. Similar auctions are widely being regarded as the most realistic way to legally retrieve Korean cultural assets from abroad. A musical performance directed, choreographed and staged by teenagers is about to debut. This production is the result of five months of hard work. Let's take a look. It's a scene they've practiced hundreds of times, but they keep their focus so they don't get it wrong. The long-awaited performance is only a day away, but they're more worried than excited. 첫 공연이다 보니까 이제 부모님이 오시는데 이제 부모님 앞에서 안 떨고 잘할 수 있을까 그게 제일 걱정이 돼요. The stars of the creative musical production, Crooked, inspired by the musical Grease, are 26 teenagers. They took part in all stages of the production, from acting and choreography to makeup and wardrobe customized for each character, as well as directing. These students did not have the opportunity to learn acting or singing due to a lack of professional training facilities in the area. Since August, the Ui Jungbu Music Theater Festival has been operating a music theater school for local adolescents and inviting experts from various fields of arts to teach them. The teenage cast and staff members plan to donate all of the proceeds from the sold-out performance. Sai of Gangnam Style fame has returned with a new album. His new music is attracting attention with his trademark quirky tunes and fun music videos. That and more showbiz news coming up now. Sai's new song, Na Palbati, or Bell Bottom Pants, expertly mixes disco and punk rhythms of the 70s and 80s. It's the title track of his seventh studio album, released three years and five months after the last. The joint lead single, Daddy, is also notable for its repeated lyrics and amusing dance moves. Containing nine songs, Sai's seventh album features guest artists from Korea and abroad, like CL of 21, Zion T, Jeon In Gwon, and Ed Sheeran. 제가 찾은 초심은 하고 싶은 걸 하고 싶어서 딴 따라가 된 저였습니다. 그래서 제가 그냥 하고 싶은 음악을 했고. K-pop idol group BTS or Bulletproof Boys have released a new song entitled Run. The lead single off the group's fourth mini album is about the energy that drives young people forward despite the unstable and precarious nature of reality. Guitarist Pak Ju Won has released a new album containing movie theme songs rendered in gypsy style. The album features 10 songs from such beloved films as the 007 series, Dr. Zhivago, and Love Story. Now that the annual kimchi making season called Gimjang is in full swing in Korea, we have prepared a special series on making kimchi, an indispensable side dish in the Korean diet. Here are some tips for saving money on Gimjang, such as places to purchase vegetables more cheaply and good alternatives to expensive ingredients. In Korea, Kimjang is regarded as the first thing to do as winter approaches. With the annual kimchi making season in full swing, homemakers worry about the cost of Kimjang. Aren't there ways to save on Kimjang costs? When making kimchi, there are a few necessities, but some minor ingredients can be swapped out or their proportions reduced. 
These ingredients include scallions, water parsley, and raw oysters. 갓 같은 경우는 김치의 군내를 잡아주는 효과가 있어요. 비교적 오래 드시는 김치 종류이기 때문에 뭐 미나리 정도는 빼신다 하시더라도 갓은 반드시 넣어주시는 것이 좋고요. 대파 사용을 많이 하시면 김치 양념이 좀 끈적일 수 있거든요. 그래서 쪽파 위주로 쓰시고 대파는 소량만 사용을 하시는 것이 좋습니다. The costs of Kim Jong go down if you reduce the amount of these additional ingredients that you use. Next, which is more economical between large supermarket chains and traditional outdoor markets? At outdoor markets, customers have to do some tiring legwork to find the vendors who offer the best products and prices. However, it pays off when merchants generously hand out the freebies. 더 맛있게 하시라고 더 드렸어요. Many people think that outdoor market sellers don't accept credit cards, but that's no longer the case. 카드뿐만이 아니고 티머니 교통 카드까지도 저희가 지금 결제가 가능하고요. 임장차를 맞이해서 각종 할인 행사 및 경품 행사도 지금 진행하고 있습니다. At large supermarket chains, customers can do shopping quickly and conveniently, as products are well arranged by item. Shoppers can save on their costs if they check out the prices of ingredients in advance on the website of the Korea Agro Fisheries and Food Trade Corporation. These tips will help you do Kim Jong shopping more economically while not sacrificing on the taste of your kimchi. And now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.